Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCaw, IFL TV. I'm in Manchester and delighted to be joined by Steve Clark again. That was at your debut. Impressive win out in Liverpool, but you came off, what, an hour away? Is it 50 minutes from Liverpool but to Manchester? So, yeah, we go on. Yeah, you've got a, another arena fight, another big card to be involved in. How happy are you? Oh, yeah, buzzing. Made up to be, you know, a part of such a, a big card and, and a great arena as well, AO Arena. So, no, couldn't be any happier. Obviously, I just said, yeah, you're. you're Paul Smith taking you on the pads there. He's no Swifty though, is he? He's not like Steven Smith. Who's better on the pads? Steve, obviously, and he's my coach, but you know, Paul, Paul's here today. Steve's um, up in London with Charlie, so you know, Paul's helping me today, which is, you know, thank, thank you. There you go, yeah, definitely. Paul's, Paul's a good, you're in good hands with Paul anyway. Um, listen, your, your, your second professional fight uh, in another arena fight. Good professional debut, you only get one. You, you know what it's like now with them small gloves on, with the big lights, the cameras, the arena. What can we expect on Saturday? You know, hopefully a good performance. Um, you no, know, I've, I've been here now when I was walking out, just before my walkout last time. I was thinking, you know, you've never experienced this, but I've experienced it now. I know what it's like. So those nerves, those like pre-fight nerves, you know, shouldn't be there. So you know, look, I'm looking forward to doing that walkout again and getting back in that ring. Obviously, you sell a few tickets as well. You're a very, very good ticket seller. You've got a very, very huge fan base as well. How many is coming over from Liverpool? We've got uh, just over 400 coming from Liverpool today. So uh, I just want to thank every single one of you. Thanks for buying a ticket and coming to support me. You know, it, it means the world. See, I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to stir some shit up, right? But, yeah, there's a fighter on the bill that you've got a uh, history with, for lack of a better word, in Jimmy Sainz. Now, it's one of PC and Amateurs. Um, I think it was one ABA final was the last one, and you won it. Is that right? Yeah, I, yeah, I won the ABA final, and then he won in the Tri Nations. Right. Yeah, so it's one apiece. One apiece, and uh, you're gonna have to settle that at some point, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, you know, um, both both starting off as a pro now, so hopefully um, down the line we can get on for a, a title of some sort. That'd be good. Well, that's the, that, that's what I was gonna say. Obviously, you're, you're, you're both very very young in your professional career still prospects you're not going to get any money if you fight each other right now we can let that marinate a little bit do you know what I mean can we let that marinate and make it a, a, a huge huge fight and if you keep winning both of you keep winning you get to that big position where one of you might have one of them belts whether it be a British European you could headline do you know I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm well ahead here oh, yeah. I mean you only had your I'm well, well, well ahead here but it's, it's a fight that definitely can marinate and it definitely definitely is going to be a fan friendly fight when it does happen no yeah definitely you know like you said, one apiece, score needs to be settled, but you know, we're on our own journey and then maybe our paths will collide in the, in the future, for I'm sure, which would be a big fight for the title. We, we've seen that as well. When, uh, you said you go, like, I know it isn't as big as Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney and their story, it's, it's three apiece on their side, but when you do have that backstory, do you know what I mean? It's all well and good having two skillful fighters, but you, you probably know yourself now in this, this professional game, it's, uh, you need, that storyline helps. Do you know what I mean to sell a fight? And uh, with that storyline behind the two of you, it's going to it's going to make for a good fight. Oh yeah, definitely. The storyline just amplifies the fight, doesn't it? So you know, there's a bit of history there, so it makes it uh, that much that much better, and more people want to be intrigued to watch it because you know the history there, one apiece. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it in the future. Definitely, and so is all my to be honest. Because I've seen Jimmy fight, I've seen you fight, and I think it's going to be a fan friendly fight. Um, for you though, obviously Swifty's down in uh, London right now with Charlie Edwards, like, like you just said, that he's going to be here on Saturday night. You've, you've been with Swifty for a wee while now in terms of him being your coach. What's that, what's that relationship like right now? I know Swifty is a fighter. I, I, I've seen him on the pads. I've seen him coaching people in the Rotunda gym, uh, Charlie and yourself. I, I've got high hopes for, for Stephen, but what's he like as a coach? No, oh, he's boss, Stephen. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't praise him anymore. He's like, he's more than just a coach, you know. Every day, I'm, I'm excited to go to the gym just to be with him. Even after the gym, I'm just like, just want to be with him all the time. Because, yeah, it's what I go for a coffee after the gym with him because, you know, his knowledge is just, you know, it's, it's perfect. And just being with him every day, I'm learning so much of him. So, couldn't thank him enough. One final one before I let you go and enjoy the rest of your day, John. Um, you're in the, the AO arena, I still call it the MEN uh, arena. What's going to happen on Saturday night? I know every fighter wants that knockout. Can we expect it? Can we hope for it? Yeah, hope, hope for what you want. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to focus on myself, focus on putting on a good performance and um, you know, please in the crowd. That, that's my game plan. That's a great 
great game plan to have. Steve, good to see you again, brother, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks very much, mate. Thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.